good morning or it could be afternoon perhaps because it's maths time so you might be doing this in the morning or the afternoon now this week we're starting something new and we're starting something called subtraction it can also be called takeaway and it's where you have a larger number and you take a smaller number away from now to start us off today we're going to play a bit of a game and I've got Big Ted as my helper today and I know you know Big Ted so you will have in your pack a sheet which had a whole lot of different numbers on it. So you cut up the numbers, you mix them all up. And this is the activity you're going to be doing today. You mix them all up and then you get to choose two numbers. So I'll get Big Ted to choose a number. What number is that prep? Number four. Okay, mm. so we've got number four. And then I'm going to choose a number. Oh, that's the number eight. So we've got the number eight and the number four. Now, out of those two numbers, which is the larger number? What do you think, Big Ted? Number eight. Oh, did Ted, Big Ted just say number eight? I, I think, think he did. just spoke with no children around. Wow. So, number eight is our largest number. So, if you don't have counters at home, you can use other things. But let's put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, there's eight counters. Now, what we're going to do, Big Ben, Big Ben, Big Ted, <laughs> Big Ted and I, we're going to work out how to take away four from eight. So what we have to do, there's a few ways you can do this, preps. You can go one, two, three, four. So you can move them away. And then that leaves me with how many left. Now, you could be able to supertize that and know straight away that that leaves you with Four. You could also count it and just check one, two, three, four. Now here's another way of doing it. You don't have these at home, but you do have number lines. You can also circle, I start at four, I mean I start at eight because that was the larger number. Do you want me to turn that around, Mrs? So we'll do it that way. And then you can go back four, so you can go one, two, three, four. So there's, there's actually quite a few ways you can work out how to do this mm -hmm. all right now this game you're going to play with someone in your house or you could play with a teddy in your house just like i did if you haven't got someone to play this game with you let's play it again all right mix them all up mix them all up all right big ted can you choose one all right Ooh, what number is that perhaps mm. number six we'll put that one there because we don't know if it's our largest number yet um let's choose that one. Oh. That's interesting, preps. Mm. That's the number nine. Sometimes you can get six and nine tricked. But if you look, this one's number six, which this one's nine. Which one is the larger number? Mm. The bigger number. Okay, it's number nine. So let's put out some counters for number nine. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, how many are we going to take away? That's how many. So Six. Big Ted, can you do that method I showed everyone before? Can you do that for me? He's going to take six counters away. One, two, th three. Oh, he's not very good at picking up the counters. Oh, he hasn't got fingers. Yeah, four, four, five. How many did I need to take away? Six. Six. Oh. Well done, Big Ted. Oh, well done. Thank oh. you for all your help. You're such a good partner. All right. So if I've taken six away from nine, that leaves me with how many left? Mm. Three. Now, if we did that on the number line like we did before, let's pop it here. You would start at nine and you would go. How many did we six. go back? Six. One. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And then... And that leaves you with three. Leaves you with three. Oh. All right, we're going to play this once more. This is going to be a fairly short um, video today, perhaps, because this is all we want you to do today is to play with the counters and the numbers and, and practice that finding the larger number, getting the smaller number and taking it away or subtracting it, which is the other word. Okay, let's try one more. We'll mix it all up, mix it all up. I'm going to choose... <gasps> What number is that? Ooh. Number 10. All right, Big Ted, you choose. 
number six again. again. So we choose the larger number. We know number 10 is a bigger number. It's bigger than six. So we're going to have to put 10. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now you need to count carefully and make sure that you've got ten. I always like to put it in rows because then I can count that quicker. So we've got ten. We're going to take away six. six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've taken that away. How many do we have left? Mm. Can we check on the number line? We could check on the number line. Let's just see if we've got it right. Okay, we started at 10 and we took away 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh. That leaves us with 4. I think it worked. I think so. I think we've got it right. Now, if you don't have a number line that you can draw on like this at home, just use your finger or you could move a counter and go 1, so, and remember, we're always using the larger number to take away from. Okay, perhaps have fun with this today. You can play it as many times as you like. If you're feeling really like a challenge, you could add some cards on here that might have team numbers on it and have a go at that and go from higher up. Okay, preps, I hope you enjoy your activity today. Hope you've got a lovely Ted like Big Ted here to help you out. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.